Hi, I'm Glyn from Trade Classics and today I'm here with a 1995 BMW 320i and I'm here with the owner. Lee, uh, very quickly to start with, I know it's a very interesting story, so how long have you owned this car? Well, I, I bought it new in South Africa, in Bede Maritzburg, in February 1995. Um, we actually traded in the previous model, BMW, for one of these, so also a 3 Series. And in 1995, this was, this was the car to, to, be, seen, to be seen in. Um, and I kept it with me in South Africa until 2000. And in 2000, we immigrated back to, to England. Mm. And uh, through, after a long process, we managed to get yeah. the authority to import the car with us. And it involved quite a lot of things. It, it, because this is a South African manufactured car, it doesn't have a catalytic converter. Yeah. Um, they were manufactured without those. We had to get certificates from BMW to, to certify that it was manufactured without a yeah. converter. Approvals from the DVLA to import it, or from VOSA to, yeah, to yeah. import it like that. Speedometer had to be changed, tail lights, a couple of other things. Um, so it was quite an involved process to import it. But we'd owned the car fr from new, it, it always garaged in South, in South yeah. Africa, very little mileage on it. So it seemed silly not to, to bring it with us when, when we came. Yeah. Um, so we went through the hoops and we, we did everything we needed to do. And two or three years later, a friend of mine, we, we had actually not stayed in England, we'd moved to Spain. Mm. And this car was in blocks um, in a garage. We owned a house in England and the car was on blocks in a garage in the yeah. house. And a friend of mine who had known the car from new mm. asked if he could buy it um, when we weren't using it. So, so I sold it to a friend and he had it for 18 years, I suppose. Yeah. Um, and he was an elderly, an elderly guy. He used the car only really to go and play golf yeah. uh, with, kept it in a garage. And sadly, last year he died. Um, and his wife phoned me and said, would you like your car back? Yeah. So, uh, so I got it back again. So you um, got it back? Mainly nostalgic. Um, I, yeah. and I remember the car as brand new. Um, he had he'd looked after it reasonably um, in yeah. terms of it had been in the garage. And, yeah. it and he only did low mileage as well, he did, didn't he? Low yeah. mileage. Yeah. No scratches or bangs or anything like yeah. that. We're not smokers. He wasn't a smoker. Yeah. So nobody's ever been in the car with a cigarette or anything yeah, like yeah. that. Um, so although it was in good condition as a car it, it he wasn't big into polishing cars yeah. or, or that sort of thing so i got it back here and decided that i wanted it back like it was the day that the day i bought it yeah so we set up set about a, a four month four or five months restoration project yeah. which involved a lot of a lot of elbow grease cleaning yeah. washing that sort of thing um Bits of refurbishment on seat, seats and, and yeah. uh, roof linings and, and that, that kind of thing. But the basic bodywork that you see now is, is as it was yeah, um, from it. day one. It's got no paint on it. The, the paint you see is as it was supplied. The original paint, yeah. It was armor glazed when I bought it in, in South Africa. And it obviously worked. That's 25 yeah. years later, it's still shiny. And, yep. and apart from one or two tiny little uh, blemishes in the paint from stone chips which we didn't want to touch up because I didn't want to spoil the original the original bodywork yeah. it's as you see it it's original um, and everything in the car is original he I don't think he ever opened the boot because the original toolbox is still, still complete down. The, the spare wheel is like the original tire on and everything the original yeah, yeah. tire yeah I um, when we part of the restoration that I did was to put back put it back to original so the tires that he had fitted to the car I had them taken off and, and the original continentals, continentals put on, which yeah. I think have done about 20 miles uh, yeah, think, since they were yeah, put on the date December 19 so yeah. literally yeah, they're the only the tires themselves were manufactured only 6 months mm -hmm. ago so obviously by the time it gets to you it's probably mm -hmm. a couple of months ago yeah and the only mileage they've done is, is the, since these tyres were put on, the, it's been to a classic car show at, in Sleaford, which is eight, eight miles away. Yeah. Um, and that's, I think, the only mileage that's it's it. done. It, when um, last year, after we'd finished the refurbishment, we had an MOT done on the car. Mm -hmm. um, and it, it, it passed its MOT with no advisories whatsoever. Um, yeah. 
we haven't had one done this year, A, because it's not due until next month, and also it's got a six month extension, extension until November, it. I think. Yeah, yeah. So we haven't, and we don't use the car, so it's not uh, not something I worry about. Yeah, yeah. We keep it insured and taxed and that sort of thing, but mainly because if we do take it to a car show, it's a hassle if you don't. If yeah, you've got a trailer it, yeah. as opposed to driving it. Yeah, yeah. But all the, all the little things, like, as you were saying earlier on, the torch and the glove box, everything yes. is as, as it's it It's nice little touches, isn't it? I know it doesn't it. work, but it could just be the bulb well, that's or... Main, yeah, yeah I, I don't think it's even that. I but think it's just because it's not... It's, the car it, hasn't been yeah, used. I it think doesn't it charges, make, yeah. charges from the Through generator, the car, not yeah. from, the, from the alternator, not from the battery. Yeah, that's right, yeah. I had the battery uh, replaced because it had... It was supplied with a Bosch and it didn't have a Bosch, so it's now got a Bosch Back battery. Bosch. Yeah. So it's everything that's supposed to be there is yeah. there right down as much as we can to the original stickers yeah. showing the air conditioning and so on. And the, mo the I say a mobile phone, it's not. It's a car phone, isn't it? It's, it's an, a, a genuine yeah. car phone. It was before mobile phones <laughs> really existed. Um, it was mobile um, in that it was fitted to the car, but it's a permanent fixture. Yeah. And in those days, you, mobile phones were available, but they were those big things with a big battery big on battery, them. Big battery, like a suitcase. Four yeah. batteries you know, yeah. to last you through the day. And you could get two SIM cards. You could get one for your, your proper mobile phone yeah. and the same number for, for the car yeah. phone. And it still works today. If you put a SIM card That's in, a, it, yeah. it, it'll work. I don't think it's the latest technology. No and it doesn't auto dial or have a, a context book or anything you've got like to press that. the buttons you've on the dash there, yeah. The yeah you can use it as a proper telephone if you want it to yeah. be if you want to a private conversation um, yeah, except yeah. that doesn't fit with the new hands-free regulation crew yeah it does have a mic on it um it's just in this footwell isn't it yeah it tucked it is, by the yeah. way yeah but there's a speaker yeah. and a mic um down down there it's in those days it was fantastic it's got an aerial somewhere yeah it's just up by here yeah, yeah just on the windscreen mm -hmm. yeah um and and i mean it works it works well the yeah. because this was a south african car the specifications are much higher than the the same or equivalent mm -hmm. car would have been in in the uk for example it's got full climate control um yeah. on on the air conditioning um, it has the skirts um, on it, yep. like the the uh, 323 uh, right. model, and the the, uh, the spoiler, on, spoiler the on the boot, and the wheels are the same as the the 323s. Yep. And they they sold the 320. All the six cylinder cars were all sold as premium as premium yes. models. I think in England you had a choice of upholstery and things. There yeah. in South Africa you did. It came full the lot. and yeah. top of the range. You yeah, you yeah. took it like that or you didn't. Yeah, um, yeah. So it's it's a well spec, yeah. well spec car. And yeah, and I've had a good play around mm. inside as well, and all the all like the little ashtrays and coin mm. holders, all those sorts of things. You press it, and it mm. just it still opens mm. like still you know hydraulic. like new. You yeah. know, it's nice and smooth. Mm. There's no judder. It doesn't mm. flick open. It's just a, a nice mm. smooth opening. And when you push it close, it clicks in place every time. Yeah, and, and the little little touches yeah. that the premium model had in the centre there on the armrest. It's got a button you can press, and your cassettes are six are cassettes in the arm. And I've noticed you've got some cassettes in there as well. Are They're they? still there. From the original cassettes, I sold the car when he picked the car up. We were in Spain, yeah. and he went to my house and, and took the car. So my cassettes were still in. Yeah. So the cassettes of with 1990s music <laughs> are still there as as they were then. So. Um, yeah. And the cassette player works, and the radio works, yeah, yeah. And, and we know all the codes, and we've got all the paperwork from the original invoice when I bought yeah, it. Yeah, so, yeah, so you mentioned paperwork, and you mentioned it earlier, you've got everything from you. So the helicopter. Making a bit of a noise. Well, it's because we live, we're surrounded by Air Force bases, so yeah, we yeah. get a lot of activity, especially the typhoons when they go. But the... Um, all the paperwork is there, right from the original welcoming letter from BMW when I bought it. Yeah. The, the original invoices, all the documentation for importing the car and the yeah. exemptions and that sort of thing. And every service that it's, that it's had from, yeah. from them. And it was religiously serviced by the, the guy that I sold it to every year, even yeah. they didn't do any mileage. So, yeah, so it's yeah. got every single piece of paper that's ever been done to the car is, 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 is there. there. Which is um, amazing. Even the letters of complaint when I wrote to BMW, 
shortly after I bought it, there was a rattle in the in <laughs> this the driver's window, and we complained about it, and and they ended up changing the whole motor mechanism yeah. to to sort it out. But e everything <laughs> that happened is is documented. It's documented. Um, and I, I, apart from the gap in the middle, I know the car as it was brand new and as it is now. And mm -hmm. yeah. Pretty much it feels and drives yeah. much the same and as it's it It's a bit did. different when, you know, if a car leaves you and it, it goes to another part of the country mm. and you don't know who it's with and it passes hands maybe two or three times, you lose a big chunk of the history, don't you? But mm, you the difference is you, you mm. knew who had the car the I whole did, time. And, and we used to see them, not a lot, but I, I we visit them every couple of months or so. So I was I knew the car all the time. Yeah, it never, uh, it yeah, never yeah. really left my life at any <laughs> at any stage. <laughs> we, we, to be honest, it brings us on nicely to... So it's, it's a really sort of never really escaped you, hmm. but now you've decided to sell. Well, I've, um, I'm getting on a bit. Um, I've got quite a lot of other, other hobbies. Um, the big attraction to this car was nostalgic, really, yeah. to, get, to get back the, the car that I got new. Yeah. And this, this car now, when I bought it brand new, it, I was exactly the same age as my daughter is now. Um, oh, yeah. so, so it kind of has kind of got some, some nostalgia to it from that yeah. point of view. And I wanted to see it like I remembered it. Yeah. And having achieved that, done a couple of classic car shows with it, it, it now, because we've, we've got the car looking right again, it, we, it has to be kept in the garage. Yeah. My wife is not amused that her car now has to stand outside. <laughs> um, and it's, it's not getting, it's not being put to its best potential. Yeah, it needs to it. go to somebody who's, who's got a real interest in, yeah, in, yeah. in what is now a classic car. Yeah. And show it, or or, or use it. Um, yeah. For me, it's it's. Mm. I'm it, bringing it back mm. to this sort of this level. It also kind of like sort of guarantees it's going to stay on the road for a whole lot longer. Whereas mm. obviously, if somebody else bought it, and they went, well, you know, the arches aren't too great, mm. you know, and they didn't catch it before it got bad, you know, they just run mm. it for a year or two. It could have just ended up in a scrapyard quite quickly that yeah, way. It could have ended up as a six hundred pound twenty five year old medical. Um, yeah, yeah. But this never this this car never deteriorated to that, that kind of stage. And yeah, yeah. Most of these cars, as as we were saying earlier, uh, were were purchased by the the drifters, yeah, people yeah. that wanted to use them for drifting and they <laughs> wanted the six cylinder engine car. Yeah. So when when they were ten or fifteen years old and you could buy them relatively cheaply most of them were bought up for that kind of thing yeah. and have long since been been total so there are very few of them around that are actually in original in yeah, original yeah. state That's like it. like this one and having got it back to this sort of stage i kind of would like it to stay like that um, yeah, yeah. but i also feel that somebody now needs to either use it or put it in a museum but it needs yeah, to do yeah. something useful as yeah, opposed yeah. to just stand in my garage just nothing. hiding mm. hiding mm. for the rest of the mm. yeah yeah I mean, I suppose if I if I had if I had the space to keep it, I would probably just put it on blocks and leave it to my grandson and let him yeah. let him worry <laughs> about it. But uh, I, it served its purpose to me. I got the yeah. pleasure out of getting it restored and, and driving it again after after yeah. twenty odd years. Yeah, and it must be great taking it to the shows and talking yeah, to people. And you know, like like me, the second I saw it, it took mm. it took me back to the late nineties yeah. of when I saw these cars and you mm. saw people with them and thinking, oh man, that's amazing. Mm. You know? Well, it was the first. I mean, in, in South Africa, the roads were good, and this was the. In that area, it was a car that would do fairly easily 130 miles an hour, and you, you did it. Um, <laughs> nowadays, obviously, you can't do that. But it, 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 in, in its day, it was it was the sort of car that was that you, uh, if you were reasonably successful, it was the kind of car that you were you wanted to be seen in. Yeah, it's a status. Yeah. 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 So but it's. I mean, I'll, I'll be sorry to let it go, and I'd like to sort of try and keep tabs of it if I can, yeah, yeah. You know, because it, it has got to me a lot of history. So. Yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah. So yeah, so we've pretty much covered everything about the car. Um, obviously, the paperwork that's going to come with it is, you know, you've already mentioned that. There's a whole files and files. Big fat file. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and yeah, so that pretty much wraps up this video. Um, hopefully, the guys watching this video 
obviously they've got an interest in the car and maybe just meeting you through this video chat they, they've now made the decision of yes this is for me or you know maybe it's not for me mm. um, so yeah so I'd like to say thank you very much for hosting me today it's, it's been, it's been mm -hmm. nice to come down here and have such a nice little area to work in as well the weather's held out it's been it's been nice, really nice. nice being in the country yeah. yes <laughs>